Lenovo IdeaPad V1 1017 IKB 80 V2 006 Notebook. This 17.3 inch Lenovo model offers a powerful Intel KB Lake processor, lots of storage space, and Windows 10 professional, but it has its weak points. The model has only one fast Ethernet interface, the display has low brightness and contrast, and the case is relatively weak. The Lenovo IdeaPad V1 1017 IKB is a 17.3 inch office notebook, which runs on an Intel KB Lake processor and offers pre installed Windows 10 professional. This laptop is aimed at private individuals or small companies. The professional version of Windows 10 will push up the price of the model, between 600 to 700 euros slash tilde dollar 627 to 731 dollars. The competitors of the IdeaPad include models, such as, the Acer ASPE5774 and the Dell Inspiron 17. Lenovo IdeaPad V1 1017 IKB 80 V2006 IdeaPad V1 10 Series Processor Intel Core i5-7200U Graphics Adapter Intel HD Graphics 620, Core, 300 to 1000 MHz, Dual Channel, 21.20.16.4542 Memory 8192MB, DDR4-2400, Dual Channel, 1 Slot, Occupy, 4GB Soldered On Board Display 17.3 inch 16 to 9, 1600 by 900 pixel 106 ppi, BOE, TN LED, glossy, no. Main board Intel KB Lake Q Premium PCH. Storage WDC Scorpio Blue WD10J PCX24 A4 T0, 1000 GB, 5400 revolutions per minute, 860 GB free. Weight 3 kg, equals 105.82 ounces, 6.61 pounds, power supply, 173 grams, equals 6.1 ounces, 0.38 pounds. Price 649 euro. Case and connectivity. Most of the case is made of matte, black plastic, but the display cover is an exception, as it is dark gray. The workmanship is fine. The material gaps are even and there are no sharp edges. The sturdiness of the case is poor, the base of the laptop can be deformed easily on both sides of the keyboard. If the case is bent, it breaks slightly. The battery is non-removable and a maintenance hatch is not included in this model. Although the IdeaPad is a 17.3-inch notebook with plenty of space, Lenovo has decided to stick with the bare minimum of ports, two USB interfaces, Type-A, 1x USB 2.0, 1x USB 3.0, and a fast Ethernet interface, no gigabit Ethernet. Furthermore, the placement of these interfaces is questionable, the power outlet is put right between the ventilation opening and the ports. As the connector of the power cable is angled, the cable will block either the ventilation opening or the ports. It is possible to avoid this issue by placing the laptop at the edge of the table. The memory card reader holds no surprises for us. While copying data blocks, it operates at a maximum transfer speed of 27 megabytes per second. 250 JPG files, each around 5 megabytes, are transferred at a speed of 18.8 megabytes per second. We tested the memory card reader with our reference card, the Toshiba Xeria Pro SDXC 64GB UHS-2. The WAN module has an Intel chip, 3165, which supports the 802.11a-b-g-n and the FastRay C WAN standards. We tested the laptop under optimal conditions, no other WAN devices nearby and a short distance from the router. The test model performed very well.